Hey guys, welcome back to Mass Effect. Um, so I guess we'll go more into some of my little grabs of this. So I don't think I can, can I add? Okay, so I can add squad abilities to the top here. I was actually wondering about that. Um, so they've kind of restored this system, but I, I, one of the things you can't do is you can't move weapons up there, um, which is what goes back to one of my complaints of choosing weapons. Requ if it requires me to pause, I fucking hate it, because the game isn't difficult enough to warrant me having to pause it all the time, go like, okay, there's three guys here, three guys there. Like, they're trying to make it some kind of tactical game, I guess, but it's really not that hard. So I would have preferred if, like, they didn't pause the game at all. Uh, so we got Tactical Cloak, uh, we got Disruptor Ammo, and uh, no Metagel for Unity. I'll put that on, like, the, the, the ladder hockey, like that. So, we'll put on our warp ammo. And with that being said, we can actually uh, we can actually do a level up because of the fact that um, we've been playing this. Uh, well, we, we, we got an extra free level essentially because of the fact uh, we imported our save. So, uh, disruptor ammo is pretty good considering all we're fighting now is uh, uh, th these guys. So here's a question: Do I do I get this all the time now, or what if uh, this weapon is already using this ammo? I guess only I get the. I, I guess only I get it. I thought maybe the squad gets it, but I'm, th I'm maybe thinking of another Mass Effect game where they introduced that. So yeah, that's kind of what we get for importing our save. We get a little bit of a level up, and that's it. We've been spotted. On target. Uh, there's nothing else here. Also, I have to say that the character is huge. They found me. Help. Wilson, where are you? Server room B. Hurry. They're out of control. Up those stairs, Shepard. Oh, God. I'm hit. Oh, no, no. We got, we got time for an audio lock. So my like my character on my screen is like huge, and I think I think it's like an FOV issue. So I might actually look into that after after this because it hurts my eyes too. <laughs> down here. Hey, what's up? Bastards got me in the leg. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some meta gel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. That wants me to use unity here. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Huh? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs. But whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Uh, forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. I haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... We can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttles. <laughs> And that and that dialogue was recorded on a different day. Alright, well he wants me to use overload, so once again. Dude. He didn't even look at it. Let's get out of here. Dude, he just willed it. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. 
We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. <laughs> Never heard of them. Let's yeah, see that one. Should I recognize that name? Hmm. Maybe that's a side effect of your recovery. You and Cerberus certainly have a history. According to the Alliance, we're a radical pro-human splinter group. You wiped out several of our research bases. But things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the Elusive Man. He'll explain everything. I promise. The elusive Man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to tell you whatever you want to know. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. Did you, did you just force me to turn around? Did it go like you're being an idiot? Like it's going this way. Whatever. Ah, many gel applied. Oh, oh, okay. We got to do the target code segment. All right. Start the hack. All right, we did it. <laughs> Trust me. I am not joking when I say, like, look up another video if you don't remember what it is. It's so boring to do. So. I'm gonna look into fixing this FOV issue. Uh, maybe in an episode or two. Because I think that's what's, that's what's hurting my eyes here. Okay, apparently Wilson just took my cover. And then ran, ran forward into, into nothing. That's not the sprint key. Wait for my shields to recharge. It's over here. Ah, there's not much else here. Okay, you guys want to go kill that guy? Where where are my teammates? All right, one's right there. And uh, I don't know where he is. I oh, know he's right there. Sorry, he blended in with the, the shadows. I'm sorry. Fuck this shit. Impact event. Impact imminent. Combat systems engaged. All right, there's another group here. Did you just say nice trip? All right, well, there, there's him going into the line of fire. Who's that one? Uh, Wilson, the suicidal one, of course. He just wants to embrace death. Okay, it's fine. Oh, another hacky minigame. Oh, okay, good. It's done. <laughs> now, you can kind of see why it's... I, I'm not joking. This adds so much to the length of the game. It's just so artificial that, like, I just started getting annoyed with it. I mean, these AI teammates look very AI teammate-ish. And they only react to me shooting here. Like, sorry, me, like, doing this. Like, they're just like, what? What are they looking at? That wall is super interesting right now. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what the other teammates used to do. At least they used to, I guess, like, not have their weapons out all the time, pointing at gray walls when, when I was just walking around. And not in combat. They actually, they, I remember that. They actually had like a, because, well, I mean, of course I remember that. I played it recently. Let's go get that uh, thermal clip. Of course I remember that. Because we, we literally just played it like a couple months ago. So. Things like that, I think that's why Mass Effect 1 was so sometimes a bit better. Um, like, they just seem very, I don't know, robotic-like. I wonder if they were hacked too, who knows. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you were... 
dead. What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you when he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Uh, aren't I the part one? Come on. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and led troops during some heavy fighting, most notably on Torfin. Do you remember taking on some Batarian slavers? Those bastards were dug in deep in a fortified bunker. I sent a lot of good soldiers to their deaths. That's how it had to be. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Alenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are gonna die. That can't affect your decisions. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel, after the Alliance saved the Destiny Ascension and you killed Saren. What happened next? Okay, I, I, I want to mention this one. This is really interesting. I, found, I figured this out a little bit later. Uh, I found this out. So, apparently there was a bit of a bug in, um, in Mass Effect 1 saves. Apparently, they did not save your choice for Anderson or Udina joining the council. Uh, they didn't record it, so this is actually they added this part, I like to, to to basically go like, what did you actually do? And I could say the other thing, and they'll they'll do the other thing. But apparently, this your choice was actually not recorded for that. Uh, it was just some dialogue that happened at the end and didn't get saved. So to fix that, this is what they did. They kind of asked you this. Uh, and stuff. So I think I made Anderson do it. I think Udina is the default, but we want Anderson to join the council anyways. Humanity was offered a spot on the council. I recommended Captain Anderson for the position. Yes, Captain Anderson is now Councillor Anderson. Though from what I hear, he preferred life in the military. Still, 
Good to know that the human council member isn't going to put politics ahead of defense. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Oh, customized gear. Oh, how are we gonna look? All right, casual appearance. All right, do we want the biker outfit? No. But let's put the skirt on. That that sounds good. So we have everything. Um. So I I I didn't. Here's the thing. One of the things about this game is that this is like the. I think the first time that EA started to go basically overboard with DLC, and they've never gone back since. So, they have all this crap, like, pre-order stuff, I, and I, I don't think this was the game where they did, like, pre-order from, like, e, like, what was it, uh, fucking GameStop or whatever the fuck, and whatever else. So, I, I couldn't keep, I don't want to keep track of what is and isn't important. It was just too much for me, so I just installed something, I basically installed everything. Um, so, you know, most of it's, like, just dog shit, like, I don't know, like, why would I want this? I, I don't even know. Uh, it's gonna cover up his face. He looks like a like he looks like he looks like one of the mechs I was just fighting. So maybe maybe not that. And like you can have like I, and I look like a Starcraft ghost, which actually would be pretty appropriate for the class I'm choosing. But I mean, I think most of the time we want to actually see Shepard's face, you know, to see those amazing facial expressions. So and then you have Kestrel armor. Like literally, this is the only other option. They have these like sliding bars. By the way, this is. I, mouse wheel doesn't work here, by the way. Um, I have to literally actually use the menu stuff and whatever. Like I said, console port um, did not um, did not go over well uh, to this game. So uh, we're gonna be green for the color of Yoshi's. Um, yeah, green and white. There you go. Pattern. What the fuck. I'll yeah, we'll just make another one here. There you go. That looks, that looks kind of cool. I look more like I'm from Halo or something. I don't know. There you go. So. Um, and this actually goes into another point, which is, if I recall, um, your armor never changes throughout the entire game. That's, that's it. Um, nothing ever gets better. They removed a lot of that RPG element of, you know, you get better equipment and stuff. Um, I mean, the Mass Effect variant didn't require, it wasn't actually huge changes. It was like more like fire rate to certain weapons and maybe some armors had better resistances. Some had like, I don't know, something else, uh, more slots and things like that. But it was somewhat of an RPG system, but now it's uh, more of a shooter than anything, so, uh, you know, take it as you will. Let's uh, talk to the man we can't find. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why'd you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, 
No more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Uh, why are you involved? We're committed to the uh, end. If, the, if we wait for politicians why was that? alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Why me? You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. I'll get what you're looking for and be back before you know it. Good to hear it. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Are you a Reaper? Alright. Oh, cool. We're level 3 now. Uh, whoops. Let's, uh... Have a look at that. Um, we got two points. Might want to put into... Uh, operative is... Random damage stuff. Eh, yeah, hacking might be nice. Uh... Also generates a temporary shield around the target. What do we need to do this? I don't know, probably more ta tactical cloak. Uh, harsh training reg regimen increases weapon damage. I mean, also increases Paragon and Renegade scores. So that doesn't sound bad either, but I think I'm going to do Tactical Cloak. We haven't even used it one time. So that's how we're going to use it right now. Okay, no, we're not. Alright, we have a couple of objectives. Alright, just, just a few. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. Are you naturally this bitchy, or is it just me? I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. 
I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? You're part of Cerberus. I'll be keeping an eye on you, too. Fair enough. I can't expect you to trust me just because I ask you. I'll just have to earn that trust. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. And, and also he cast a disrup disruption web too many times. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, sir. Alright, well, uh... That's it for this mission. Gives you some buzzes. Oh yeah, here's the... This is the, uh... For bringing, bringing in my character, this is what it gives me. All this, all this stuff. Have some more. Oh, bonus credits. For importing a rich Mass Effect 1 character, nice. So, uh, we don't have to worry too much about that. Um, we're all good. Alright, we're gonna leave it off here, so, uh, next time.